What is going on, beautiful people? Today we're talking about how do narcissists make you feel bad for them? If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and welcome to another episode of the Narcissist Code. Boom. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, y'all. Y'all hear that slight melody in the background now? I'm adding background. Y'all, I'm upgrading the channel piece by piece by piece. So shout out to everybody sending the uh, sending in the uh, super chats and whatnot and the uh, super stickers. And uh, yeah, it's super, like I'm using it wisely. I appreciate y'all. Seriously. Um, but yeah, 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 y'all. How do narcissistic people make you feel bad for them? This is a tactic that a lot of narcissists use, y'all. So this is not just like something that one or two narcissists use. This is something that a lot, a lot of narcissistic people will pull out of the woodworks, will use, will weaponize. Like y your empathy, yo, you, you're you empathetic. A lot of people consider themselves empaths, even though I, I like I can say, y'all, I don't know exactly what an empath is, but a lot, of, I know what it pertains of. But a lot of people consider themselves empaths because you have high levels of empathy. You consider yourself an empathetic person and whatnot. So this happens right here. It really does. This is one of those things that happens all the time where narcissists and toxic people will literally use your own empathy, your kindness, your compassion. They will use it against you. In, every, in any way possible to make you do their bidding, to make you feel a certain type of way, to get you to do what they want you to do. Point blank period. In the story. That's how it goes, y'all. That is that, that is literally how it, how it works itself out a lot of times in these spaces with narcissistic people. Like, if you are a kind, caring, empathetic person, this is what happens. This is part of the dynamic. This is part of the situation. This is part of the scenario of how things typically go. You know? Like, literally. Like, so if you're dealing with narcissists, like, just kind of, I, I feel like I want to say buckle your seatbelt, but you don't have to buckle your seatbelt because you got me. You listening right here. This is, I'm your seatbelt. Buckle up, you know. Watch out. Because they will, like I said, narcissists, they will play on, they, they will just use, they, they will literally just flip the script on you. You know, they will, you, they will weaponize their trauma against you as well. The first way, like I said, they will weaponize your empathy and compassion against you. Like just because you're a kind, caring, compassionate person, they will take that and then they will weaponize, they will use that to weaponize their own childhood trauma or adult trauma or traumatic experiences that they may or may not have went through. Y'all, because some people do lie about their childhoods. Some people do lie about their traumatic experiences. Some people do and do can and will lie about situations like that it just, it's just part of you it's, it's part of the paradigm of dealing with a toxic narcissistic person like they do this type of stuff all the damn time all the time all the time so if you're kind and caring and you, like you like, let's say you catch them cheating i always talk about cheating because it's easy i know not all every single 100 percent narcissist cheat um but the kind like cheating is just easy because a lot of people have been cheated on by narcissistic people. But let's say you caught them stealing, you can catch them stealing money. You can catch them uh, lying to you. You catch them uh, smoking again once they, when they said they stopped. You can catch them, you know, doing some gambling, whatever it is. You can catch them in the act of doing something, and instead of taking accountability, they will just make you feel bad for them. Hey, I just I just can't stop doing this. I just I know I keep. I keep I keep failing you over and over and over again. I just wish I could stop failing you. I wish I could stop being such a failure. I just can't believe my mom. You know, my mom used to beat me when I was little. Or my dad. My dad walked out. My dad walked out on me. My mom walked out on me. Everybody walked out on me. And like, I've been raising myself since I was four years old. No help. You know, they will say things like that to make you feel bad. They absolutely will. Because it worked. Yeah. Does it work? Yes. It absolutely works. It's just one of those things, yeah. It's just one of those things that consistently works. And so why would they change it up? If they can successfully make you feel bad for them, why would they change that up? You know, why would they switch up the script? If they can, if every time they do something bad, 
all they, they do something bad or horrible or out of line towards you, why would they switch it up? Like weaponizing your empathy or using your using their own trauma against them, against you. Mel, you know, why would they do that? Because it works. Like narcissists, and the reason why they do it because victim. They like playing the victim. You know, they love playing the victim because victims get sympathy, victims get attention, victims get empathy, compassion, victims get money. Some people donate money to people who think they are victims, and it comes out, oh, that's not a victim. This is a scam. You've been scammed. Narcissistic people are relationship scammers. You know what I mean? Credit cards and the scammers. Panda, panda, panda. I'm just telling you, this is what happens. They're relationship scammers. They will literally play the victim, weaponize it against you, and then like, yeah, they just scam you out of your heart. They scam you out of your compassion. They, scam, you know, they scam you out of your money too. Sometimes, you know, not all the time. They scam you out of your money too. You no, know, they don't care. Narcissistic people want to be served in any way possible. They want to get their need as long as they are getting their needs met. They don't care who they run over top of. They don't care who they're hurting or harming. They don't, y'all. Just being realistic, they don't care. But like, but like, why do they, why do they keep doing it, like, y'all? If they keep, if it works, why? If it works, why fix it? If it's not broken to them, why fix it? Even though they might be a broken person, it's not. Their, their methods are not broken. So why would they change up something that's working for them? That's why I just tell. I, when I tell y'all that it's going to keep happening as long as it keep, as long as it keeps happening, it's going to keep happening. Believe me. I know. Believe, believe me. You know. Believe me, because they absolutely will keep doing the same thing over and over again. If you if they can put their hands on you, and they can start hitting themselves, you see what I'm saying? They'll they'll put their hands on you, and then they'll start beating themselves up because they feel so bad about hitting you. They feel they're a monster. They're monstrous. They're doing stuff like that because they get you to feel bad for them. Like a, a real life example of this is that um, the Jonathan Majors situation. You know, if you look at Jonathan Majors, the actor, um, model, whatnot, he sent, he allegedly, well, these, the text messages are real, but the circumstances are alleged. You know, the text messages are real. Like, apparently, allegedly, he put his hands on his ex, and his ex went to the, was thinking about going to the hospital, and he got her to feel bad for him by just saying, hey, look, you're going to ruin my career. Guess what's going to happen to me if you go to the hospital? Think about me. You got to protect us. Protect me. Protect us. Like, think about, What's going to happen to me? Then, then he, in these text messages, he started threatening to unalive himself. He's like, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to go take my life. I'm just going to end my life right now. This is real life happening. Just Google Jonathan Majors court. You will see. They. I, mean, I just did a. Re, I did a recent video about it. Like literally, and he's just, just getting her to feel bad for him. It's just like, look, you. you first of all, he said he's going to ruin my career. Then he said, like, doing this to me is going to make me want to unalive myself because I'm such a monster. I'm such this. I'm such that. He keeps doing, yeah, does it work? Yeah, it works. And he's going to keep doing that type of stuff because it works. It's a real life example of this happening. Like, literally, they make you feel bad for them for something that they have done to you. You know, they make you apologize. You like, they'll do this type of stuff where you'll feel bad for them and then you will end up apologizing to them for something that they did to you. You will you will apologize to Deb for something that they did to you. Something that they put you through. Some some hurt, some pain, some lies, some manipulation. They will just keep doing this up over and over and over again because it works. Yes. So it's up to you to protect yourself against this because if you get in like of course, it's gonna, it might work once or twice because you're a kind, caring, compassionate person or whatnot. You may be. You may. But if, if they start doing it again and again and again, like you keep hearing the same excuses again and again and again, that's a pattern. It's, it's a cycle. It's cyclical. It's a cycle. So if it's a pattern, then that's how it's going to go. You know, that's the space that a lot of people fall into. That's the dynamic that a lot of people fall into. That's what it's, that's what it's going to keep happening. To narcissists keep happening to toxic people, like because they're gonna they're just gonna fall back into it. You know, they love weaponizing your own stuff against you, where you end up apologizing to them. Like you catch them, you catch them cheating by going through their phone. You catch them lying about going through their phone. Like let's just say you you went through their phone and found out that they had got fired from their job. They've been leaving every single day at the same time and coming back at the same time, but they've been fired for for three months. And you went through the phone and found that out, and somehow. It's your fault for going through the phone. Now you feel bad. You say, now you apologizing. 
even though they've been lying to you the whole time. They could have been cheating on you or whatever they could have been doing or just waiting to want them to live off of you. It's a very unique space in a very unique space. Well, like I said, the main ways that they do it, they just pray. They, they will, y'all. And do narcissists always go after kind, caring, empathetic people? Not necessarily. Not necessarily because, you know, physical attraction plays a big role in it. But then, I mean, lust and all the other stuff. But then who you are, like who you are determines the way the relationship is going to go with a narcissist or a toxic person. I mean, not just narcissist or toxic person, with anybody for that matter. Like who you are, you, 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 who you are determines what it, where it goes. So you have to keep it up. You have to keep moving forward. You have to keep empowering yourself, y'all. This is the empowerment channel, you know? This is seriously the empowerment channel. It just is. So thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, if you made it this far, y'all, I have a, keep on, keep a lookout. I have a free um, group workshop that I'm gonna be doing here in the next couple of weeks before Christmas. Keep an eye on it, it's gonna be over Zoom. It's gonna be like private, um, it's free. So like I said, if you just want to get together with people, just get, get in touch with people. Just, you know, join the newsletter. I'm going to send it out. To, the newsletter people will know first. So join my newsletter. The link is in the comment section uh, in the description of every video and podcast I do. I'll be sending that link out specifically here in the next couple of days. So thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Of course, Mental Healness is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. You are a mental healness rock star and I appreciate you for being here. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the screen to subscribe to the channel and watch another one of my videos on my playlist. There's also a link available up here for you to purchase my kids, but remember it's not your fault on Amazon. So check that out. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.